they were two small bugs uh, hit the front bumper I got everything else off but there was just like these two bu uh, bugs that were bright red they're small you can't really see them but they do bother me and they're right on the top of my front bumper train at the wrap shop and see if he can get that either rewrapped or see if we can try to get it off because it's just bothersome so I did have a subscriber request man I am gonna do a video of uh, probably either my top five or top ten vehicles that I've owned you guys are new to the channel i have owned over 230 plus cars man buying selling trading the car that i really started to keep and settled down with was the ctsv that was when i really actually kept the car for longer than a couple months see what you guys think man it's a lot of cars man i've owned damn near everything anything you can name i pretty much owned it already modded it up and you know done up almost to the max so for the most part have a lot of roads like this in Texas area man that's mostly for the mountains and stuff that's where everybody's at like this but they're all bumpy as hell fucking just horrible like we don't have a lot of smooth smooth roads like this and a lot of this is new because as you can see these new apartments right here you got these new homes over there these apartments are pretty nice you got a lake back there i think Tran's shop is like right here so we're almost there Tran actually got his block back for his r32 as you guys remember for the last video he's doing a 2jz build for it and uh his block actually got back from getting a lot of work done to it he sent me a picture of it that thing is nasty so we're definitely gonna have to check that out and then he has this uh genesis right here which i didn't know had the carbon fiber front end on it but he did some uh, starlight on the roof so if you guys need starlight interior he also does that as well but that genesis is dope we're gonna have to check that thing out yeah man hey how you doing good good damn yeah these two things right here they're small as hell, but they're still there, bro. And like when it's out in the sun, they, they yeah, they fucking just like pop because they're just bright red. I don't know. That's the only thing that's really been bothering me. Everything else looks good. I think there's just like, uh, on the, probably the front fender, just a check, just edges. That's it, really. That's it. Yeah, it's holding up pretty good. Yeah, so it's the Genesis. It's carbon trunk. Great. I like it. It's got the bar stone wheels. Carbon fenders. I like that front bumper too. It's different. It's like a GTR ish style on there. The headlights are nice too. It has like a carbon style on the inside. Pretty dope. Bumper actually don't look too bad. And uh, he did the uh, headlight. I mean, headlight. The headliner lights in here. Beautiful block over here. Sheesh. Damn. What all did you have done to it? Yeah. What kind of pistons did you go with? It looks good, man. From where? 
all the heat from the oh. <laughs> so the wrap is like super sticky right now and it's all soft. So it's actually helping you low key, huh? Yeah, I haven't really used the heat gun yet. <laughs> Right, train got me all fixed up now, man. Like I said, it was super small, but it got me right, man. I'm gonna back it out, get it in the sunlight. Sheesh, this thing looks nasty. Yeah, it looks good. It's way better than the shit that was up there. Yeah, when the sun hits it, it's crazy. Yeah, there we go. Camera doesn't do it justice, man, but y'all can see some of the flake right here in this, this fender area. But just imagine the whole car, you can see it on the window seals and stuff right there. Thing is nasty. Like I said, if y'all need any wrap services, Come to the shop, man. Tran did an excellent job on this thing. Knocked it out within a week. Touch-ups, you know, he's honest, taking care of his work. Looking good, man. Got the Magnuson on here time for retuning tomorrow so we may if we can we make it to the tuning shop man we'll put this camaro on a dyno and show you guys how this thing runs I'm gonna get it retuned by james carter who's the guy that tuned my uh corvette my ctsv um so you guys need to go to lstuner.com i end up pulling it down too might go down in size on the pulley so this thing should make some crazy power oh that's the other pulley yeah what size is this one 2.9 that's gonna look good on there too. Oh, yeah. Look a lot better. Yeah, I already tried it out and it wasn't fitting, so I had to do just little adjustments. You say you're ready to gap everybody out there now. Nah, nah, I want to hear that. <laughs> nah. We're at the shop getting the Ranger Danger some new suspension. Uh, if y'all haven't seen the my daily, the work truck here, had to change the tie rods. Where that busted one at? <laughs> That's the outer tie rod, boy. Gone. My little boot was hanging on there. Polished them up. Look at that. Got the Z28 shining. Are you ready now? All right, guys. We are here at the tune shop with Charlie. We are at HPP Racing. There's a lot of cool cars here, man. We're going to check out some cars. I am on a tight schedule because I've, wor I've been working and then I shot over here. I still got cars to do. Hopefully we can get this dyno in the video and then uh, I gotta get back to work. Got this beautiful Mustang right here it has a GT500 front bumper on it. Carbon fenders, carbon hood. I like those brakes. Got the beer brakes on it. Really nice. Carbon trunk, okay. Carbon diffuser, this thing's nice. Got some boosty boys going on. We got a lot of quality stuff here, man. Another Cobra. So this guy says he has a Magnuson um, on his uh, CTSV with a TH400. 
might be pretty quick, man. It does look like it needs some love. Look, you can tell it's been dogged. <laughs> you can tell he's been racing it. But uh, it looks pretty good, man, for the CTSV guys. You know, we still love the CTSV. I mean, this one should be a pretty good car, especially with the TH400. And we got the C7 Corvette, man. You know, I had this as well. This is what I got before the Shelby. It's got a nice Pro Charger on it. That's what I wanted to do before the LT4 blower. I wanted that Pro Charger just for the sound and the setup. This would definitely be a nice sleeper. What do you say, mate? Eleven fifty with the Magnuson. Yeah, I think just highway roads. Yeah. Yeah, highway roads. I don't think so. Oh, there he is. Shit. Here he is, guys. The man, the myth, the legend. Man, he's here. Uh, James getting ready to tune the Camaro. Boy, got the damn. PS2, boy. I would hook that up somewhere in the back <laughs> playing on the brakes. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Holy shit. Sound good, man. Hey, now the police is coming. <laughs> Sound good. All right, so you know we got to get your prediction. What is your prediction that you think is going to make? We probably won't show the numbers. But what is your prediction? I think right now, we're just to start the movie, I think she at least making an increase in like 40, 40 dollars. Yeah. 40? Without the movie. 40. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 80. 80? 80 horsepower, yeah, yeah. And of course, that was a Mopar that you got. No, <laughs> do it the most. 80 horsepower to the wheel. We should. I think that would be pretty easy for this little dude. Hell yeah. And especially if you put that LSTutorSticker.com on there, you know that's going to be oh, 100. Yeah. <laughs> that's 100, but well, you already know that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got it. Filled up with ice. We're ready to go. Super snake. This thing's nasty. That wide body looks good. Got the Fox. Got the Camaro. RS2. With a set of wheels on it. Nice. See a twin turbo uh, Camaro over there. All right, guys, here's a quick video of the Magnuson CTSV, man. Really nice. Pull it down, Magnuson blower, open hitters. I tried to catch the burnout for you guys, but I turned around last minute because we were doing the dyno tuning, but yeah, this thing gets, man. Mainly a race car for sure. It's definitely a race car for sure. Um, it actually does make in the thousands, I believe. Uh-oh, we back over here. Having some fueling, fuel, huh? filling, fueling issues. Yeah. Not enough fuel. And then we were talking about the pulley, man. God damn, you ain't got enough fuel for that. You definitely ain't got enough fuel for that. So this is, so this is what it came in, and I, I didn't do a full pull because it leaned out. But if you were riding around with that loose one, here's what it's doing. It was okay until it had a big fuel demand where the booster pump would help. And then boom, it shot up. And it went from zero to 100 in about 10 seconds. The 13, like, so the fact you didn't smoke this motherfucker, 
Right. <laughs> what size is this one again? 2.9? 2.9. I got a 525. Yeah. My pulley is literally twice the size of that. All right, guys, I got to get ready to get back to work. So he did a pulley change with 2.9. I'm probably going to do one run with the pulley on there, and then I got to head out. Pick up some good power. Good. There you go. <laughs> All right, they're gonna go do some testing and uh, do some drivability stuff. I'm out, I gotta get back to work. But uh, yeah, things running good. Smell that heat. 